The Logitech C920 is an amazing budget camera. However, as you can see straight out of the box, it doesn't exactly look the best. So our goal today is to try and make this camera look a little bit more like that. When it comes to technology or making your stream look good, most people's first thought is always to jump to spending money. If they can buy the next best thing, the next best camera, something really expensive, the stream will finally look good. However, with a few tips and tricks and a little bit of know-how, learning to use your current equipment a little bit better can make you pretty much have 90% of the quality of the fancy stuff that you're going to buy, just obviously without any of that expense. So with that, we come to my first tip, which is get yourself some kind of light. Any kind of light will do. A desk lamp pointed at your face, a softbox you found off eBay, a fluorescent light attached to your wall, or what I'm using here is the Elgato key light. I know that's a little bit too expensive for most people, but any light pointed at your face will expose your skin and features properly, giving the apparent illusion that your camera is better than it is and will improve the quality of it. If you guys are interested, I'll leave some links down below with the lights that I started with. I think they were just big soft boxes I bought off Amazon and they're around 20 to 25 pounds so absolute bargain looks amazing highly recommended as i was saying though getting a light makes a big difference so as you can see now there's no light really on my face if i add one in though you can see that the whole image quality seems to be a little bit better i understand that it's a little bit overexposed right now but we're going to fix that in the next step the next step being playing around with camera settings and filters within obs to create a high quality image for your stream so as you can see we're in obs now our camera doesn't exactly look the best the colors are all messed up it's too bright and whatnot and honestly i don't want to stream with something that looks like this so to get to the settings menu where we're going to actually make the changes we need to make you're going to have to go down here to the bottom pick the camera which you're trying to edit mine is currently c920 webcam right click it press properties and then it should load up this window afterwards press configure video and it should load up this tab. Sometimes it loads underneath OBS. I don't understand why it does it, but you'll find it maybe on your taskbar at the bottom, hiding, I don't know why. So afterwards, first things first, we're gonna have to change all the auto settings to off, which I really hate all the auto settings because basically, as you can see here, if I move around, it changes the exposure, the focus is changing, the color is changing as I'm moving around and it looks very unprofessional and cheap. So get rid of those, get rid of this white balance one, turn off auto, go to the next tab, turn off focus, turn off exposure. And then as you can see, it made some weird change, which now makes me look even worse than before. But we're going to fix that. First things first, we need to sort out this exposure because it looks goddamn awful. So as you can see here, it's currently at minus five, which is clearly, clearly still too bright. So I'm going to go down a couple of notches, minus six, it's getting better. Minus seven is minus eight. No, minus eight's a bit too dark. So I'm going to go to minus seven. Minus seven seems to look about right for my lights. Obviously, obviously you're going to have different lights and rooms and different setups to me. So play around with it, see what the exposure is best for you, but make sure your skin actually looks like skin and not some kind of neon glow, like plasticky looking horribleness. Set that first and you're pretty much halfway there already. So exposure is done here. We don't really have to care about focus because obviously if I change this, I'm just going to go out of focus and no one really needs that. So leave focus as it is, unless you are majorly out of focus, then play around with the settings. So as you can see now, things are looking way better than they did a few minutes ago. I'm actually exposed correctly now. Things aren't changing color all the time. Focus is correct. However, I've got one or two more things that I do need to add or change or at least check to make sure that the camera is as good as it can possibly be and look perfect your stream personally i think this looks pretty great so far the exposure is correct it's nice and sharp and all the colors look where they should be as i said earlier though because of different lightings and rooms and setups things may look different for you one of which the big one which will make things look different will be the color of the image the main way of changing that though is with the white balance on the camera that basically tells the camera what is white and that fixes everything else around that so to change that to change that, we're going to have to go back over to our camera control panel over here. Not this tab, though, this time. We're going to have to go to the video tab and scroll down to white balance. Mine looks perfect as it is, as I said, but if yours is looking a bit too blue, you're going to have to go warmer. And if it's looking a bit too orange, cooler. So if you move to a lower number, if you're heading towards the 2000s, things are going to get bluer. If you're heading towards like the six and a half thousand or so, then it's going to look a lot more warm. Personally, I liked mine where it was at around 4,000 or so, 
but you set yours for how you think yours should look and basically make it as good as you possibly can. And for my last little tip today, it's going to be something that I personally like to do to my cameras. I understand that this is something that not everyone will advise or will want to do to their cameras, but I'm just going to show you what I like to do personally to mine to make them look that little bit better, in my opinion, when streaming. So as you can see, we're back in OBS now. Our image is looking great, but I'm going to make one more change to it just to make it that little bit better, push it that little bit higher and hopefully make it look better or as good as we possibly can and that change is going to be add the tiniest bit a little bit of sharpening to our image obviously these cameras aren't exactly the sharpest and i always feel like stuff looks a little bit like blurry or soft or something about it so i always add some sharpness just to kind of hopefully make the eyes look at least a bit sharper so when i'm talking to you in chat or on stream the that's kind of the thing you look at as opposed to anything else but you should be looking at my eyes so that's the way that we connect that is why i add a little bit of sharpness so to do that you go down to where we were before open properties go to configure video and then obviously open this panel again so sharpness halfway down on the video page it's currently 128 which is default if you go all the way down it basically looks like you're slightly out of focus again so that's 128 and as I said, we're going to add the tiniest, tiniest bit just to make my eyes look a little bit sharper than they were before. So I'm going to go up to like one. Let's see where we're going. 128 to maybe 145. That's not too much. It's probably a very subtle difference to you and me. But I think it makes the world a difference overall. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully this information helped you somehow, made your stream a little bit better and improved your webcam and how it looks overall. If you did enjoy the video though, remember to give me a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in the future. If you do have any questions or queries or anything, drop me a comment down below. And last but not least, remember to give me a follow on Twitch where hopefully we can hang out in stream sometime and I get to meet you and know you a little bit better. Thanks for watching as always. And I'll see you in the next one. Night Owl, out. Peace!